when he sent you. So you're the one they call the Fox. Your reputation precedes you. And you must be Angel. Should I be flattered or concerned? Depends on how you handle a little favor for me. I need you to track down a friend of mine, Sonia Mayfield. Amateur boxing champ. Now runs a local gym. She went missing a few days ago. So long as your favor doesn't mean free. Any idea what could have happened to her? Does she have any enemies? I'd like to know. Sonia was a pillar in this community. She ran free classes for the local kids so she could keep them off the streets. I'll look into it. I'm locked out. Looks like someone closed the place up. There's a CTOS camera nearby. Maybe it picked up something. Understood. Angel, I got stills from the CTOS camera. Looks like Sonia met with Clan Kelly before she went AWOL. Sending to you now. Clan Kelly? Oh shit. I recognize this asshole. They hit up a Kelly clubhouse that runs underground fights. So it wasn't a random visit. Clan Kelly targeted her for her boxing history. But for what? I'm sending you the address now. Hurry. All right, I'm here. What's your plan to get in? Are you gonna start shooting? Yeah, that sounds judgmental coming from you. Sonia's probably in there, and I don't want her to wind up as collateral damage. And I want to know what's going on. You won't get information by killing everyone inside. Yeah, I heard you. I think I've got an idea for how to blend in. the tournament no better way to check out the action than be right in it and that isn't her now that's entertainment and one massive blow to our fighter How many people are you gonna have to go through?
Sonia, you found her. No thanks to you. Are you Sonia Mayfield? Angel sent me to find you. Really? Did he tell you to completely fuck me over too? What are you talking about? The match. The only reason I signed up for this tourney was because the prize money would have kept my gym doors open. Now I'm gonna lose it. The bank will take everything. This was about the prize money. Take it then. Angel thought something bad had happened to you. Turns out you were just fighting for Clan Kelly. It's not that simple. They wanted a champion for their league, so while they may not have literally put a gun to my head, they made saying yes my only real option. And I'm the lucky one. They've dragged other people here to fight and cage them up after. Folks that owe them are across them. Clan Kelly are holding people hostage and forcing them to fight. I can't let that go on. Okay. I hope you make them pay. And, thanks. That gym means everything to me. You can't leave these people here, Pierce. People shouldn't be chained up to fight like dogs. Shit, dogs shouldn't be chained up either. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on it. found the other boxers. Clan Kelly's literally holding them in cages. Get them out of their beers. Here we go.
Just the man I wanted to see. I've got a little mystery on my hands. And you want me to solve it? You catch on quick, Fox. You're not the only one asking me for favors lately. What's the situation? I keep hearing the same story from the regulars on the soup line. They get sacked. Their employer pulls their housing stipend. And then some tough guys come and force them onto the streets. People get fired, people get evicted. Is that a news story in England? It is, when the flats are still empty weeks later. You don't get that many vacancies in London these days. Not unless it's on purpose. Something's up. All right. I'll see what I can find. This place is a ghost town. See some gangsters hanging around, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the movers. They must have set up camp. Makes sense. They can harass the locals and scare off any new tenants while they're at it. These company units are all hooked up with CCTV. You can hack in from the CTOS hub. Yeah, I've done this before. Found the security cam access. Good. You're looking for flat 208. Huh. Looks like the movers left some of their gear. Please, I can get the money. Too fucking late, in it. Time's up, you're out. No, please, you can't. All right, lads. Let's wrap it up before the pool Routing you the data right. now. This is good, Fox. Get out of there. I'll see what's what. These movers have been busy. Almost 200 evictions carry out here in the Chateau's Plaza. Any evidence that ties them to your friend's former employer? Strangely, no. If anything, the Kellys seem to be the ones calling the shots here. I don't get it. All this over some shoebox rentals? What's the angle? I'm not sure. Uh, but there is one name that keeps coming up in these files. Someone I think you might know. Who? Thomas Rempart. Rempart. Figures. I'm heading to the plaza now. I'll let you know when I get there. I'm here. You said this was housing? That's right. Converted warehouses. Well, now they've been converted to a hole in the ground. What the hell? More data coming your way. Looks like financial records. Ah, 
Here's our scam. The Kellys clear out the land and Rampart buys it up on the cheap. He's going to turn this place into a factory for his robot playthings. And hundreds of people end up homeless. I say we sink his investment. I like your thinking. Look around for any of Rampart's assets and trash them. Just blew up one of Rempart's servers. Nice. Keep going. There's another one. Good. That should set his plans back a bit. Now get out of there. <laughs> well, I did a bit of damage, but I doubt it's enough to stop the evictions. With the kind of money we're talking about? No, I don't think so. But now that we know the scam, we can start fighting back against it. Send out some tough guys of your own? Is that it? Mutual aid peers. I'm talking community funds for people who can make rent. Hooking people up with employment lawyers. That kind of thing. And yeah, a few tough guys on Neighborhood Watch couldn't hurt. Sounds like you got a long fight ahead of you. Good luck. The word never ends, Mr. Fox. seems to be the problem. Some of my friends got picked up by Albion. They are street artists, so they're always getting nicked for tagging or whatever. I need to get them out. Vandalism is just a misdemeanor. You wouldn't be asking me to help if you just needed someone to pick them up from the station. You are right. Despite my better judgment, I'm calling in the big guns because this whole thing spooks me. My contacts tip me off that the arresting officer was Captain Dansk. So what's the problem? Most of the feds I deal with, I can bribe if it's over petty shit like this. But word is, Dansk is a zealot. There is no warnings, no leniency, no such thing as a small crime. My friends could do hard time or even get kicked out of the country over this bullshit. Another asshole on a power trip. I'll look into it. I'm counting on you, man. They are good people. They don't deserve this. I'm here. For a holding center, the place sure looks like a max security prison. Find a way to get inside quietly. You don't want to raise any alarms until my friends are well clear of there. Don't worry. I'll get your friends out safe.
I'm in. Any ideas where to start looking? They're probably in one of the holding cells. If you find anyone matching my friend's profiles, patch me in and I can confirm. Shit. I didn't expect the cells to be this full. What are they all in for? Arrest reports are showing things like unlawful gathering, obstruction of justice, harassing an officer, littering, all issued by Captain Dansk. Go. Captain Dents must have an Albion facility they primarily report to and operate from. Yeah, there's a big Albion center in the neighborhood under their watch. I'll send you the coordinates. Good chance that if your friends got picked up, that's where they'd be held. I'm ordering the summary execution of the three individuals being held in... Uh, just put their names in the report after. Authorization by Commanding Officer Dansk. Listed reason? Defacing private property and promoting hate speech against the Albion Group. It does not do to be writing such nasty, salacious words. Words have consequences. Fire when ready, and leave the bodies there until they can be shipped out for cremation. Can you do something to help the other prisoners in here? Like what? Help them all escape? It might actually cause them more trouble from Albion if they were involved in a mass jailbreak. You could unlock the cell doors from a terminal. At least give them a chance to run. I'll see what I can do. I think it's them. It's rough, but I better send Angel some photos so he can identify them. Angel, I'm sending you some photos. Do you recognize them? Fuck, fuck. This can't be happening. 
They're all dead what for? According to the execution order, for defacing property with hate speech against Albion. They killed them for spray painting fuck Albion on the wall? Hate speech? That's free speech, and they just shot them and left them in there? Captain Dansk has decided the judge, jury, and executioner. I can't fucking believe this. It's time to get out of here. Final order of business, taking care of Captain Dansk. What are you proposing? Simple. Dansk won't stop unless I stop them, permanently. I can't believe I'm saying this, but is that a good idea? What if that makes Albion escalate? Revenge isn't worth it if they start raiding more people. Then what are you suggesting? Expose what Dansk has been doing here. The photos you took inside. I've got a contact. Clear Waters, Independent Press. You get them to her, and she'll make sure they get spread far and wide. We can get the whole operation shut down. You can't shame or embarrass a maniac who thinks they can play at being God. You can shine a spotlight on the darkness, or you can give into it. Whatever you want, Fox. Happy hunting. Claire, Angel told me you could help me leak a story. Aiden Pierce, man of the hour. I was hoping to get a soundbite from the hero that broke up Clan Kelly's slave fighting ring. Have you been in touch with any of the people you rescued? Let's rain check on the interview. I have some pictures you might be interested in. Evidence that an Albion officer is ordering illegal executions for minor crimes. I need word to get out far and wide. God, that is grisly. But don't worry. I can spread this to several channels. Albion won't be able to stop it from getting out, and we can expose their flagrant abuse of power. Glad to hear it. Sending to you now. I got the evidence to Claire. Now her and her little birdies can orchestrate this lunatic's downfall. I love to think Dask was just a freak occurrence, but... This is all over Albion, isn't it? This isn't the end of it at all. I'm sorry about your friends, Angel. They deserve better. I guess I never thanked you for finding them. What's next for you? I'm not sure. I need to let their families know. I might get blind drunk for a bit. I need to do some more digging into Albion. Give me a call when you do. Thanks. Aiden. Angel. Something's not right. Bagley, get me Angel. Right away. Oh, you fascist fuck! Stop! Shit, Angel, if you can hear me, describe your surroundings. <laughs> Lambeth! No! Kennington! Kennington! Bagley, tag the closest Albion station to Kennington and Lambeth, and call Connie, now. Connecting you two? Connie Robinson. Aiden? You don't usually call me. Who's dead? No one yet, but Angel just got picked up by Albion. I think they're taking him to the lockup near Kennington. Angel? Christ. All right, give me a moment. I've got to make some calls. I'm at the lockup. Great. I'm on the other line with one of my mates. Ex-Fed told me where to find their arrest records. Tag it. I'm going in.
server should have their arrest records on it. That can point me to wherever they took Angel. Let's get to work. Looks like they took Angel somewhere called the EPC. Any idea what that is? Yeah, it's bad. The EPC used to be the old cricket ground. Now it's a processing center for anyone they say is in the country illegally. It's a concentration camp. Yep. Not that anyone would say it out loud. If he's in there... I'll get him out. Thank you, Aiden. Marking it for you. That's the EPC. It's huge. When you've got big problems, you need a big rook to sweep them under. I might as well start by asking around. Yeah, you can try, but I've got a feeling these people won't have much to say to a shady-looking stranger. Who's shady-looking? You know what? Don't answer that. Any other ideas? He knows you're looking for him, right? Means he might have left a trail for you to follow. Don't talk to me. People can see us. I don't know you. I'd rather keep it that way, thanks. Pick off. I can't be seen with you. Keep your blood clot voice down. They'll hear you, and then we'll all be in for it. You know something. Yes. And if I tell you, you promise to get the hell away from here and leave us in peace? Sure. All right. They've been dragging people off towards that horrible clinic. Your friend, or whatever he is to you, saw those hoods grab a few people and give chase. Ejot. Interesting. Thanks. Don't thank me. Just leave. Connie, is there some kind of medical clinic in here? Yeah, seem to remember it was run by those Carcani quacks. Lots of nasty rumors, almost no mainstream coverage. The usual. Something tells me Angel's fixing to change that. That's the Carcani Medical Clinic. Angel might be somewhere inside. Aiden. Hey. Come with me, kid. You're gonna get yourself killed. No, I can't. Look, I kept this quiet for obvious reasons, but I'm dead sick, man. Dead sick, Caracas. Dead sick? I didn't think I was worried. All right, Mr. Dead sick. Call the play. Thank you. Okay. So Albion is letting Clan fucking Kelly run this clinic here for a cut off their profits. That much, I know. If you can expose them, we can slow them down. There's a server in the Albion Overlook that should have everything on it. I'll take care of that and cover your exit. No, no, I gotta stay, man. 
I gotta know how deep this shitty rabbit hole goes. I can see I won't talk you out of it. All right. Good luck, kid. Hope you don't need it. Connie? Yeah, I was listening. Typical angel. More heart than good sense. He mentioned dead sake. Is that how you know each other? No. Nope. Comments. Aiden, bit of an issue, love. What is it now? I've got a contact who used to work at the EPC ages ago. She tells me they have a system on those servers that records the MAC address of any CTOS device that connects remotely. It's gonna trace me. Afraid so. I'm on my own. And every asshole in this city will know exactly where I am. Okay. I'll make it work. completely unacceptable. I've got nothing here so far. Pulling the files down now. They'll all be coming for you now. You'll have to hold out. Not a problem.
Anyone followed me? She get these files to Connie. I'm close. What do I do? Bring it here. I'll pull the files down from your optic directly. Missions are open. You can pull the data now. Got it. Cheers, Aiden. I know a few real police who are just looking for a reason to shut that clinic down. Good. At least it's worth something. Is that a note of regret I hear in the grizzled vigilante's voice? And here I thought you were just in this for the gear. Well, now that you've mentioned it... Yeah, I've got a new reward. And don't fret. Angel's a capable lad. Yeah. I know. Hey, it's me again. Angel, you found a new optic? Yeah, some gelly pricks. Can't keep it for long, or his friends might notice, but I just wanted to say thanks. For this and for everything. Wasn't exactly out of the goodness of my heart, kid. Come on. You didn't have to come find me in here. And you didn't have to steal those Albion files either. You did that because you knew it was the right thing to do. Well, anyway. You sure I can't convince you to come home? Home's a long way away for both of us, man. All we can do now is be good house guests. Feed the cat. Do some of the cleaning up, you know? Yeah. Yes, I do. Take care, Angel. Good knowing you. You too, Hayden. <laughs> 